Hey guys, Cyber Dragon here. So, this is the finale of What If Deku Had Anti Venom. Uh, yeah, so I noticed how many subscribers we have, and like, oh shit, I need to get this done fast. Because I don't want too many What Ifs piled up again, like th this time. But this was all mostly specials because, you know, subscriber specials, yeah. Which I kind of stopped doing that at the 800 mark. So, but I'll still do a 1K special, which, oh boy. Hope you guys are ready for that. But yeah, I'm hoping to at least get a couple more of these done. Anti-Venom, obviously, uh, after this, Toga, but Toga will be pretty close to being done afterwards, and Meta, most likely, too, so that would leave two what-ifs left. Yeah, two what-ifs left. I had to think for a moment if that was true or not. But they won't all be finished that quite fast. Uh, the uploading schedule for this week will be this, Scorpion... Toga, and then Meta. Yeah, that's kind of how this upload schedule will be like this week. Exactly how. reason why Meta will be last is because I'm needing to figure out how that's going to work. And, uh... Well, I'm needing to also see Toga again, because I forgot where we last left off. For that, but I know what I'm gonna do for uh, Scorpion, so but yeah, without further ado, let's get this series over with so that we can get to the others. Also, I am most likely gonna continue the rest of the what ifs through season five, not all, but some like, well, Toga, Meta. <sighs> the cool ones I have, perhaps. I don't know, that's just depending on, I guess, how I feel. But yeah, so let's start. So, we are at the hospital. Not everyone is getting chucked up just in case. They went, they did just go through an ordeal. They needed to make sure everyone's alright. And they do get the all cleared, they all can leave, but some do have to stay, well just about some. Uh, the people who got hit with that toxic shit is, you know, at the hospital. Um, so Momo is not as hurt as in canon, because Deku did take care of the Nomu. Uh, what else? What else? They don't really have to know my location anymore because of that, though. But I will say, Momo did give Deku a tracker. So they did throw it onto Dobby somehow. Or someone, I'm not sure. So now they have the location of the league. Uh, so, and if you're wondering how they're still going to do the awful one fight, yeah, it's still going to happen like it did. Just because I feel like it, but I would say Deku can sense those no moves if they were close by like that. Because they couldn't have been that far away if, you know, Deku was there, so... So yeah, uh, I will say this, <sighs> Deku is just waiting around the waiting area of the hospital for um, other people. Aries with Deku, she is just coloring in a coloring book. I'm not sure. Whatever. 
until Izara came up to him. Like, oh, uh, Mr. Izara. Like, oh, what can I do for you? Like, you have been summoned to help us. Like, what? What do you mean? Like, we need your help. For one, you're the only one who can, for your lack of better words, cleanse those no move things. So, in case we do counter any of them, we need your help with that. Like, oh, they're okay. Uh, why bring me though? I'm still a UA student. Like, well, from here on out, you will actually have your license. Temporarily, of course. Like, oh. Well then. Uh, so, but still, isn't this kind of a, so, the unusual of me needing to come? Like, look, I'm not the one who wanted you to come, but most of the heroes know your skills, and, well, they figured they could use you to help them. So... I'd rather you not be there, but I can't deny that you'll most likely be a major help. So think it over, okay? Okay, I'll think it over. So, he waits until Kendo get down there. With Kendo... Uh, Izuku, sir, what are you still doing here? I thought you wouldn't have went home by now. Sir, and why is Amy still up? Hmm? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Kendo. I didn't want to leave without you. And, well, uh, I need to talk to you here soon. So, once we get back home. Okay. So, once we reach the dorms, they put Aerie to sleep while Deku and Kendo go somewhere private to talk. Like, Izuku, what is this all about? Like, how do I say this? I would summon to help with the raid uh, here soon. Like, what? Y you're gonna help in the raid? Like, yeah. They figure they can use me to, in case if there's any no moves there. Which, honestly, last time when I was at the training camp, we were at the training camp, I didn't sense the no move and then I go total berserk, but I did sense another no move. Set that one more intelligent, seem like. But yeah. So, they can definitely tell there's someone on their team is a Nomu. And I'm gonna help in that regard. Oh. So, she begins to have a very worried expression now. Like, Kendo, are you alright? Like, yeah, but. I get why they need you, but still, what if you get hurt there? What what if something bad happens to you? You can't leave me and Amy behind. <laughs> You're worried about that? So Kendo, I thought you would at least have a little bit more faith in my skills. Like, I do, but what if there's a villain there that even you can't beat? Like, hmm. I'm not sure but it's a possibility but I'll make sure to be okay all right I'll promise to return to you and Amy and well well what we can start being more like a family after I come back uh, are you trying to tease me or something like no I'm not I know this is sudden and stuff, but I don't want to waste any more time. Will you stay with me and be with me for the rest of my life after all of this? Like, uh, uh, um, uh, are you asking me to marry you or something? Like, hmm. I guess so, in a way. 
but not exactly marriage yet. Just something to make sure we can, uh, something I can make sure to come home to, I guess. Well, alright. Once you get back, sir, so I'll, so you me can be more as a family for Harry. Yeah, for Harry. So yeah, a couple days pass, they got the raid set up. They are raiding the bar, mostly. They did discover the Nomu factory was close by, though, so... How did they do that? Yeah, I would say Deku and Aizawa were scouting their area, but Deku sensed a lot of fucking Nomus. And he marked it on the location without going berserk. So he got that shit on the wraps mostly. I say mostly, but not all the way. So yeah, they got that location marked down. And the same people go to the same area. Although they're not saving Bakugo anyone, because remember last part Bakugo was saved by Deku. And uh well Deku's with the team that's raiding the bar. You might be wondering, well, actually, no, wait, Deku's raiding the Nomu factory. Because they figured, you know. Well. Okay, no, shut the bar, fuck it. They don't know what Nomu's will be there. And whatever Nomu's they capture at the Nomu factory, they will most likely. Well. So bring to Deku later to, you know, cleanse. Yeah, it goes down the same as in canon. They captured the villains. They bust the Nomu factory. Everything seems great. Until the villains got walked away. And the Nomus got warped there. Which, they like, shit. Alright. I got the time to let him out. So, let, let who out, kid? Like, so, my da- other side. Trust me, he's been pounding my head since these things sh- showed up. After he yelled that out, he yelled, CLEANSE! Which, he starts attacking the lower tier gnomus, cleansing them, grabbing them by the heads, lifting them up, and the symbiote gets on them. So it's cleansing them. And remember, with each Nomu, he gets a bit of a Zenkai boost. 1% for each low tier Nomu, 5% for the, like the USJ based Nomus, and, well, the high end Nomus, like Kuragiri and Gigantomachia, a 20% boost. But yeah, so with that, all my did bounce because you know Deku was there. He got to where the League of Villain members was, and all my didn't really have to hold back. And with Deku's help with the no moves, they actually finished up quicker. So Deku actually managed to get there faster, cause well they handled a majority of those no moves. Like a large ass majority. And once Deku saw that, he told the hero that he's gonna help All Might capture the League. Which some heroes even went with him. Try to catch up, but still. Grand Trino was the only one to catch up. Which once they reached the Nomu factory area, they see the League uh, all for one trying to open up a portal to, well, uh, by using force quirk activation on Kurigiri. Before that, Deku sent an overwhelming sensation to take a cleanse all for one in a way. That is what the anti venomous main goal is. He thinks if he removes the source, he can remove all the no moves. Which, of course. 
cleanse, cleanse, fucking cleanse. So he runs, bolts as the, well, the full anti-venom look, even having muscular's augmentation on him. Bolt towards Koagiri, who's on the ground, lifts him up in the air by his head, which all four are like, no, what are you doing? Cleansing this Nobu. Which the symbiote gets on the Nomu. Uh, Kurgiri. Which, if you didn't know, Kurgi is a Nomu. So, spoiler alert for what his identity is. Uh, skip like a few seconds ahead. Uh, I would say like 10, maybe 20 seconds. Okay, you skipped it. Good. So, the identity of Kurgiri, which I hate the fact that people told me this. Spoilers for anyone, again, so. It's Aizawa's old friend, Obero Kishuro, I believe is the last part. I know it's Obero. Which, yeah, he did revert back to normal. And so, like, no! So, Kurgiri! So, so, Kurgiri isn't in there anymore. He threw. I'm, for now on, I'm just gonna refer to Orbita Kurgiri. Because, well. Well, because, just in case, I kind of feel. Whatever remained of Kurgiri is gone, all for one. Which, now the League doesn't really have any way to go. And, uh, of course, uh, this is also being broadcast, so Aizara saw that Kurgiri was his best friend, which now he's alive again. And, uh, well, Grand Torino did knock the other leagues out, which all of them were like, You child! I will enjoy taking your quirk and destroying it. And you with my bare hand. Like, you can fry all for one. But yeah, so, the fight goes now. All Might and Deku fights him. Grand Torino making sure, and some of the other heroes making sure the League doesn't escape. And with Deku's help, he actually is just striking all for one. By swinging around, punching him from the sides. And All Might is charging up his United States of Smash. Since if he's not as tired as in canon, and since if Deku healed him. This will be a major attack on him. So, after Deku swinging around, like, you know, you're kind of foolish for the League's mastermind. You know that? Like, what are you talking about, child? Like, so you're letting a child as me distract you while the main man is ridding up his major attack. What? He looks and see All Might already bolted to him, yelling, United States of Smash! Hitting All for One. Hitting him with tremendous power. And creating a bigger crater than in canon. All for One, his shit is knocked down. But he's a conscience. <laughs> Which all my what? What the hell? So then Deku just walks towards him, or well, anti venom Deku, full anti venom Deku. Like now to finish this, like, young Mador, like young Aizawa. No, he grabs all for one by the neck. The symbiote starts to go around him. 
going into all for one and it is destroying the quirk and the quirk genes too all of the quirks all for one have is now all gone even all for one itself but a bright side for him it did heal him completely somehow which after he's done he lets go of all for one all for one looks at his hand and himself like, what did you do to me Always freaking out like shit. He's just healed him. What am I gonna do? Till he says like I, I can't feel it. My my quirk. What did you do to me? Like I cleanse the main virus of this world. Said so the main thing that made these creatures these no moves. And now. You can never make another. After saying that, Anti-Venom retreats back into Deku. Deku, on the ground, not passed the fuck out because he's just having to deal with a lot of shit. But All Might is looking at him like, he just destroyed the Awful One quirk. But before he's fully knocked out, Deku's a, not quite. Still out there but should be finding soon look good for young Midoriya and uh, young Azawa so yeah after that all phone was taken to custody the other leagues were too and after and since of a decade was that they managed to find a lot more information they found out that Dr. Ujiko which I don't know if this is canon or not but in this world it is Dr. Ujiko was the man who, uh, who, who does the quirk evaluations, who he takes the quirks from young children and gives them to all for one, and even holding the quirk all for one, and even some other shit, just as the, I just as nine, which after that Deku rightfully cleansed him too. He wasn't a Nomu, but he did have some kind of defect with his quirk, so... And even removing the re last trace of all for one. Which did cure Nine, but also kind of cancelled his quirk out permanently. They did find Jump Gap Man to Machia, which Deku was sent there to help. And because of all of this shit, he was even given his license early, early on. Like, when the others were doing their provisional, Deku was doing the his full-on licensing. Because how much help he was doing the raid. And for everything else he has done. We do a very large time skip now. It has been several years. Deku and Kendo's relationship grew a lot, to the point that the husband and wife. All Might eventually did retire, but Deku took the place of the number one spot to this to his dismay. But whenever there was time, he did just do his underground hero work. So someone did eventually take the number one spot, but Deku did ask that he wouldn't get the spotlight. He just asked that, hey, I know you guys want to make me the number one hero in some little piece, but can you not? I'm not really wanting to. I'm wanting to be the next underground hero, which, yeah. Him and Azara does team ups. Uh, but And Kendo does get in the top 10 places. She's number one, while Miri is number two, Todoroki is number, th actually, yeah, number three, Bakugo number five, or four actually, yeah, four. Well, Deku is hidden off the chart, because he doesn't want to be on the top ten, even though he's clearly in the top ten. And, yeah, Kendo and Deku did get married eventually. Eri did eventually also go to middle school and high school. 
and she's on her way to being a hero. And Taker and Kendo did also have a kid, a younger child. Which, it was a little girl, and Deku, the only thing that she, he knew about his mother was really her name. So, in honor of her, he named this little girl Inko Aizawa. And that is where I'm going to end this series, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Look forward to Scorpion at some point this week. Uh... And I'm either going to do three to four videos this week. Meta might be next week in that case if I don't do meta this week. But the other videos will happen. I hope you guys enjoyed the series so f as it was. But yeah, Cyber Dragon out. Peace.